In the new film, Avengers Infinity War Part 1, Thanos is trying to get all of the Infinity Stones. And at this point, I do have to say there are spoilers for the film, so if you haven't seen it, go watch it, then come back. Now, one of these Infinity Stones is with Doctor Strange, and as those of you who've seen the movie will know, it's the Time Stone, and he has taken a vow to protect the stone forever. He even says in the film that he can't destroy it as part of this vow, he must preserve it, and that he would sacrifice both Spider-Man's and Iron Man's life in an instant to save it. And then he hands it over to Thanos 20 minutes later. Now, it's set to look in the film like he gave the stone to Thanos to save Iron Man's life, and Thanos also thinks this is the case when he makes the trade. With Doctor Strange then saying after they've made the trade, it was the only way to Iron Man. Again, this is meant to look like he's saying it was the only way to save you to Iron Man, when in fact he's talking about the only way to defeat Thanos. You see, earlier in the film, he used the Time Stone to see into possible futures, mainly looking at how to defeat Thanos. And he goes through millions of alternate futures, but only manages to find one scenario in which Thanos is defeated. The group then decide to use this plan, as of course, if it's the only way to defeat him, it's the best plan to go with. Though we as the audience don't actually find out what this plan is. So it stands to reason that everything the group did after this was all part of Doctor Strange's plan to defeat Thanos, which must involve giving Thanos the Time Stone. Now I know it seems counterproductive to giving one of the stones that he needs, but Doctor Strange has seen the future, and he knows that this is the only way for the Avengers to beat Thanos. So, Doctor Strange wasn't making a dumb decision and sacrificing the Time Stone and Universe just for Iron Man's sake. It's all part of a larger plan. Now, what exactly that plan is, and how this carries on in Part 2, is anybody's guess. But I think without a doubt that they need Thanos to have the Time Stone. Now, it's possible that I could be wrong, but it does make sense. After all, they've given Thanos the Time Stone, and we know that he's going to be beaten in the second Infinity War film. So why else would Doctor Strange give it to him if it wasn't going to eventually lead to his downfall? Again, Doctor Strange has seen the future, so why else would he possibly do it? But what do you think? Do you think this is why Doctor Strange handed the Infinity Stone over so casually? Or do you think there is another reason for him giving Thanos the Time Stone? Maybe it was just to save Iron Man's life? And how do you think it will affect the Avengers Infinity War Part 2? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that is helping us to bring you more videos each week and to raise funds for adapting comic book stories into short animated films. If you're interested in donating or just want to find out more, a link is in this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.